How's it going, everybody? Game Reviews here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Insurgence Delta Lock. So, in the last episode, we spoke with Nora. We won our nice little school tournament, Yippee. And we also got our second team member in Ecto. Like I said last episode, both of these guys are going to be level 5, and they are. Let's continue onward. And as always, be sure to answer the question of the day. And today's question is. Who would you want as your illusory partner? For me, um, what I mean by, well, let me rephrase that. What I mean by illusory partner, so we learned in the last episode that Mew and Celebi and Hoopa, and there are some potentially other Pokemon as well that are illusory Pokemon. So out of all those, I'm just going to assume what they mean is mythical Pokemon. And if that's the case for me, it's going to be Victini, hands down. Victini is my favorite Pokemon um, in Gen 5. I really liked how its storyline presence was really there. It was the last time we actually had a... Um... Oh, we're almost there, Grunts. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry. <laughs> I was really interrupted by some Grunts. But anyways, so it was the last time a mythical Pokemon actually had some kind of story to it kind of reasoning and actually wanting of being there because after that we have Meloetta who honestly I'm pretty sure you just get uh Genesect I know you just get and is there a third Nova mythical I'm missing nope. I don't know but yeah ever since Victini the mythicals just haven't just been given definitely like I know like Magiarna from uh Sun and Moon that one was through a QR code scan. It was like, oh hey, check out the QR code scanner that's available on the 3DS. And that was really the reasoning for it. Um, so we do have to continue upward a little bit more, but right now I'm just gonna take advantage and get as many items as we can because I see some Abyssal Cultists in front of us. So, uh, repel, thank you. And then, wahaha. We have a corner, Riolu. There's nowhere to run. Just stop running, Riolu. You're ours now. What are you doing? Did you see you're scaring it? Huh? Who dares stand in the way of the Abyssal Cults? Will the two of you deal with them, please? We have a Riolu to catch. I hope you're ready to lose. The Abyssal Cult will crush you here. I keep forgetting that the female text boxes are red and the male text boxes are blue. So I'll fix that uh, after this battle's over. All right, two chip boys is gonna do the trick. And scrub. I'm gonna just actually bring in Bloomer just cause at least with Scrub, we can use a side beam on it and take it out real quick. We gotta actually change up the uh, positioning, the moves last uh, in between episodes. Corefish is the next one, so side beam it. Bye bye. Ciao. You are nothing. How on earth could you lose? You two have the best Pokemon we have to offer. Why do I always need to clean up after your mistakes? I'll deal with them myself in a second. For now, I'm after this Pokemon. Aw, how sweet. But your mother won't rescue you. Now quick, Grunts. You've heard the rumors about this Lucario. You know why we're here. We need to catch it quick before it... Oh no. It mega evolved. Oh, that's impossible. That shouldn't be able to happen. Wait, let's get out of here. We can't handle Mega Lucario. Lucario. I only came here because I heard about this ruin, and I thought it would be interesting to explore. I'm glad I came in time. These pe those people from there were, were from the Abyssal Cults. From what I can tell, they're pretty similar to Team Aqua from Hoenn. I'm trying to capture the legendary Pokemon Kyogre. Mega Evolution, huh? I've heard of it before. I don't fully understand it, but it seems to be a form where Pokemon become even more powerful than before. I remember reading that it requires a close bond between Pokemon and Pokemon. I wonder how that Lucario was able to do it then. I need to go research this more. I'll see you around, gamer. Don't forget, we're still racing to Suntouch City. Alright, cool. So, um, there's a couple more items we could get here. And yeah, so that means, so yeah, so Mega Evolution does exist in this game. And the creators of this game... Also threw in Mega Evolutions for Delta Pokemon as well. So that's an even better bonus. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do over here. So we're going to go downward and we're going to go to the left and down. 
into the into Cyan Cavern. Let's heal up. And the game is cold. Why do we warm up? Why do we have to warm up with the battle? He said? I don't know. That's fine. We have we're right next to Nurse Joy, anyways. Especially with Goofy. Oh, that's okay. I forgot. I was thinking the opposite direction of Dragon versus Spear. We'll be okay. Bubbles never hurt us, especially with the. Oh, yeah, that Dazzling Blink just took it out in one hit. That was a plan. However, there's also a catch to this. Jetto can no longer, uh, uh, can no longer always listen to us. It became a jerk because we let it reach level 26. Ah, what a jerk. Fairy type, fairy attack, that's fine. And use faint. It's also very cold right now where I'm recording at, so I actually made a, a cup of hot chocolates as well. Oh, interesting, the music actually uh, dropped for a second. There we go. Must have been in between switching from the music to the cave music. Oh, no worries. So, for the time. Hello, Mr. Zarua. Here we go. So for the time being, I am just going to be keeping um, Boomer out front because um, Jato will not listen to us until we get the first badge, which we are actually going to be able to get in this episode. Potentially some more stuff as well. Um, we just have to see how this episode plays out. Alright, you know what? We should be able to, yeah. A lot of people choose one or two types to master and build their team around. I specialize in rock types. Can you now? Also, there's a Pokemon I need to catch in this cave to get a eventual Delta Pokemon as well. So, we're gonna have an additional team member, technically. Um, I, to be honest, I'm probably just gonna... I'm still gonna buzz if we do encounter it right now, which I don't know if we will or not. Spoil, spoiler alert, it is not that Wismer. Um, let's see here. Over here. Ah! Oh, perfect. It's the one on the right. That's what I need. So we're going to side beam and let's uh, chip away, actually. Yeah, I was not worried a chip away would take it out by any means, but we need to take out... Okay, we need to take out that Magnemite real quick, though. That special attack drop. Jeez. And that is the issue. Oh, perfect. Okay, we're good. I don't care that Jato ignored us. Jerk. Okay, Pokeball. Two, three. All right. Alright, and Pokeball. Wait, is there a bug in this that says if I throw a Pokeball, it can't attack me in a double battle? That's interesting. But regardless, I'm just gonna nickname all the Pokemon that we're gonna trade bye bye because I don't care about you. Um, Bulbas. <laughs> Sorry, I meant Ivysaur. Okay, so this guy uses the three evolutions. Um, I probably should have actually gone a heal beforehand, but it's fine. Because, right, do I even have a paralyzed heal? I do not, so that's going to be something we're going to have to deal with. However, we should be good, nonetheless. Especially with one more side. One more side beam, please. So, um, what's up next? Flareon? I did say that I was not going to use Jetto, but we're, we have a very low accuracy right now, so. And we're getting that very low accuracy again. And again. That's cool. Okay, cool. Gento did behave with us the last time, thankfully. And now, let's use Bloomer again. We're gonna set up on this with a Leech Seed, actually. You know, when it actually wants to connect. There we go. And then Draining Kisses to uh, get some HP back as well. All right, one more. We got this done. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll survive no matter what, so we're fine. Perfect. Very nice. Um, I don't know if I want. I'm actually gonna go back to talk to that nurse Joy real quick and heal because we are still paralyzed. Uh, as an add bonus though, we're gonna use a nice little repel spritzy spritz on our. I don't know. Where do we spell? Do we spray like repel like in front of us on our feet? See, that, those, that's one of the questions I really wish Pokemon would be able to answer. But thankfully, in this game, we do have- it does have that feature where you could use continuous repels. Um, okay, that's fine. Repel wore off. I don't care. Uh, run away. 
a little bit laggy than I was expecting. Sorry about that. And there's a magnet right again. So we already have one that we need. Oh, there's a magnet, but I'm not gonna... Where should I actually... You know what? No, we're gonna actually go back and grab it because one of, our, one of the Delta Pokemon we will be getting, like, really, really soon, and I mean really soon, is a, uh, electric type. So, might as well have that magnet on our... on us as well. So... Oh, there we go. Magnet. Also, side note, going to, uh, we're going to talk about a little bit of Mario stuff real quick. Um, Nintendo today dropped a two-minute trailer with the uh, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Um, so the game comes out in a month from today's recording. Uh, this is going to go up next, what, next Thursday? Yeah, this is episode three, so let's go up next Thursday. So it's still like, uh, a couple weeks left before the game comes out, and oh my gosh, that Bowser's trailer, that Bowser trailer, woo, woo -wee. I love it. That looks so intense and everything, I cannot wait to play it. Uh, Mini World was my favorite game on the Wii U, and just to like know that's coming to Switch, even though, okay, yeah, it's another port, I don't care at all. It's the fact that it's coming to Switch that makes me so excited. And we are in Sun Touch City now, so not much to really do around here at the moment. All we can really do right now is just talk to you, get the healing up, and oh, you know what, actually? So we're going to take a little bit of an exploration tour. So this is actually a mall area, so over here, we can change our clothes, and there are a lot of different options here. Over here, you know, is the standard mart. Talk to this person. Oh no, please. I'm thrilled you can just confront me. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. You're the only one that matters after all. I mean, yeah, we kind of do are the only ones that matter. Uh, since we are over here though, we're gonna buy... 12 Super Potions! I think that's all we really need right now. And then over here is a hair salon place, I think, right? Yeah. So, first time here, every mall there's a hair salon. Okay, so we could either switch between short and long hair, so we change up our hair to shorts. And then, um... Oh no, sorry, no, no, this person uh, has the other thing I want. We can also, not with that one, uh, hair dye, here we go. We can change our hair color, and we're gonna make it cyan, so check this out. We're going to go to bag, uh, clothes, cyan hair dye. And just like that, we have cyan hair. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, we're gonna go into here. Ah, wee! <laughs> and, go into here for the first gym in Sunset City. We'll never reach a gym leader. Not as long as Jack's gonna come us in. Right? Are you sure about that? I think we will be here with a nice little side beam. And side beam, bye bye. New mail. Side beam. And tackle. That works with us. We'll make it to Orion, trust me. Hey, just because we're young doesn't mean you should, under should underestimate us. I really think I should, honestly. I mean, look at this. I'm just, you know, I just I'm taking out your Pokemon like nobody's business right now. Granted, I know I am a little bit of a higher level. However, there is a reason for that. That reason being is because. Oh no 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 no! Oh my God, we almost lost. We almost lost Bloomer. No! I would have not liked that. I saw like those two layers. I'm like, oh my gosh, should I just like swap or whatever? But I'm like, nope, we're gonna stay in. And that's what happens. Oh, God. Okay. We have a lot of potions right now, so I'm just gonna start using them instead of going into um, the Pokemon Center. But I am taking advantage as well of all these batteries. That's totally fine. That Leo went down real quick, followed by a side beam. Two side beams, actually, to, from a flip -flip for another takedown. And let's see here. Bye, Yoga. Go to potion. You're gonna take that potion as well. You want to pick a fight with me? You don't have a chance. I mean, are you sure about that? You have a Limwick. And what else do you have? Bring it on. Come on. I can take it. Inferno. What's our PB looking? Oh, okay. We're we're still looking good on the PB for um die beams.
Let's take it on. Okay, nice trainer. Hmm. Gotta love me some hot cocoa. Um, let's go for a tackle instead, because I want to kind of conserve a little bit at least. Um, against Nubo. I wish like too much tackle does, that's fine. Tackle again. Embers, okay, that's fine. Tackle by. Alright, cool. Bayo? Potion, potion, potion. And let's go talk to Orion. Challenger, huh? My name's Orion. I'm the leader of the Sun Touch Gym. I'm pretty good with fire types, and all my Pokemon work together under the light of the sun. That was a hint, by the way. Want to battle? I'm ready when you are. Alright, let's get started. Wish me luck. With you by my side, I'm sure to win. What? Oh. The rock everyone wants to know. The rock. Everyone wants to know about the rock. It gets lonely being a gym leader, so I have to make friends where I can. Everyone in the city mocks me for it, but it's a lie. I just know it. But whatever, that's not important right now. You want a battle, right? Let's get started. You won't stand a chance. We'll bring it on Orion. So, um, hmm. no, let me actually settle the on first to start dealing at least some damage to it. And we'll follow that up with a side beam. And we'll... We'll do a tackle, actually. Okay, so he did go for a heal, which is fine. Um, for us? Hmm. I want to tackle you. Yeah. Okay, then. Okay, that was a critical. That's fine, that's fine. One down. A couple more to go. Ivysaur is next, who is a poison type, so we need to take this thing out real quick. I mean, oh my god. Okay. We need to heal right now. Again, Deer Link, who, uh... Okay, I'm gonna stay in and just heal right now. That's gonna be the next step. It's gonna be staying in and going for that heal. Solar Beam, that's fine. Not gonna deal that much damage anyway. I wasn't really worried about it. And since it is a grass normal type, we could use Rain Kiss on it to get some more HP back. That, that's totally fine, yeah. <laughs> Alright, Sunlight Faded, which is good. That means if it chooses to use Solar Beam, it has to take two turns for it to set it up with. But now this thing keeps using Synthesis all the time, which. I mean, is it? It's seriously just gonna, just gonna be using. There we go. Thank you. Finally, doing attack. And Dream Kiss, I think, should be able to finish it off. Yep. Awesome. Now, all that is left here is Charmeleon. And Charmeleon, I think, should be able to go down perfectly fine. Ooh, let me actually set a lead seed on it right now, and I'm gonna heal. So, the reason for this uh, yeah, I'm gonna heal. Fire Pledge does some damage. Like, it does. So, uh, there you go. That was what I was worried about. I wanted to make sure that we were going to be able to survive a uh, ability-based Fire Pledge. Well, that wasn't bad at all. What a great battle. Here you are. Congratulations. You obtained the Thermal Badge. As a reward, take this too. We have Flame Charge. That TM contains the move Flame Charge. It isn't the strongest thing ever, but it will boost your speed every time you use it. Next gym will be in VPIC City. To the south of here. The leader Xavier has a forest theme and he specializes in bug and poison types. Good luck, challenger! Oh, thank you! Alright, cool. So we got our first badge, and with our first badge, it means that Chateau could actually listen to us again. I don't know for how much longer, but hopefully for long enough. Excuse me! Hey, gamer, it's me, Nora. Did someone run by here just now? She looked panicked. I wonder what that was all about. I'm going to check it out. Well, maybe we should as well. Harmony, what are you doing here? I'm in the middle of my work shift. I'm accepting challenges right now. Orion, we need to get out of here. I saw cultists entering the city, and they were talking about you. I don't know what they're planning, but we need to get you get out while we still can. Are you serious? You're right. Can you help me carry this? My friend is pretty heavy. Are you serious? We don't have time for this again. There are cultists coming to attack you or worse. That thing is just a rock. It's not real. Fix the imaginary friend and let's get out of here. Crying out loud, this is why they shouldn't let kids be gym leaders. Too late. Oh, it's Kira! Ah, my apologies for the loud landing. Legendary Pokemon hard to control, you know. This beautiful creature's name is Kira. It's a very powerful Pokemon. Its breath is said to be so cold it can face flames and electrify solid. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tain. I work for the cult known as Perfection. We're not quite as impressive as the rest of the cults. We kind of do our own thing. But that doesn't mean you should take us lightly. So have our goals and we'll stop at nothing to achieve them. Which brings us to why we're here. No way. I'm going to protect the stone. I'm not going to take my friend away. You're friends with the rock? You guys 
You talk to it too? Are you guys best friends forever? That's so cute. Listen, Tan, was it? You're not acting very friendly here. Tell us what you want and leave. Tell you what we want? Well, you know what. I want the kids rock. What? No way. I die first. The fun messing with you, kid. But now it's time for the adults to talk. Get out of the way. Not a chance. Leave us alone. Insolent child. Did you just slap him? What's wrong with you? That's absolutely dis- What was that? That, my dear girl, is the reason we wanted the rock. Just because I mocked Orion doesn't mean I don't know what it truly is. Ooh, you hear that sound? It's Rashira! Rashira! What? What? What is that? That is Rashira, the being of truth. Many years ago, Rashiram, Markiram, and the third Pokemon, Zekrom, would all be pieces of the same Pokemon. However, fighting and war eventually split the three apart. Rashiram was sealed in a rock known as the White Stone. It seems to have fallen in Orion's care. It seems like Rashiram has fled. Very well. At least we managed to awaken the stone. And now we chase. Let's get going, Q. Get a dragon catch. Orion, sorry. I didn't believe you, but you were completely. Right, now your friends fled off. I didn't see you two there. Who are you? Are you cultists too? No, of course not. We're trainers. I didn't think so. You aren't dressed the part. My name is Harmony. I'm the gym leader of Sonata City. I specialize in Nomon fairy types. Sorry, you two had to see that. I'm assuming you're here to challenge the gym leader? I'm a challenger. Gamer beat Orion earlier today. I see. Can I trust the two of you what happened to be a secret? Orion could be in danger if this news gets out. Don't trust me. Gamer and I have a few of our own secrets to keep. I believe you. Let's stop by Sonata City sometime. Kill. What was that? Rushy Ram came back. Oh, thank you. It's so good to see you again. I guess Rushy Ram could have abandon its best friend, even though it would probably be less safe here. You know, you really feel comfortable with Orion. Orion, you have to be careful. None of the managers coming into the gym can see Rushy Ram. You never know who might spill the beans to the freaking blue haired guy. I'll be careful, Harmony, I swear. He's just having by to help out. No problem. I need to get going, and sorry for not believing you. Rusty Ram, huh? I knew you were alive all along. I never dreamed you were a legendary. I'll come and channel you later then. I'm guessing you two have some catching up to do. Yeah, thanks. I'll battle you later, if that's alright. Hey gamer, you go ahead. I'll battle Ryan when he's ready and I'll catch up with you later, okay? Oh, and take this too. It'll help you get around the region faster. We got the instant Lapras, awesome. So, just like in Omicron, um, HMs are not a thing in this game. Well, HM, I don't know if HMs actually exist in general in this game, but there are items you can get that substitute for HMs. And as we did learn earlier on from a random hiker, that Rock Smash can be replaced with any fighting type move that a Pokemon knows. So, in order to get through that though, we need to first get a Rock Smash. We, still, we first need to get a Pokemon who knows a, um, Fighting type move. And unfortunately, neither of our po current Pokemon know how to do so. So, I'm gonna try avoiding these trainers as much as possible because, spoilers, this is where we're gonna get our third partner Pokemon. I wanna make sure that all these trainers are available for, are available for us moving forward. So, go into here, talk to this hiker. I see you found me. I'm the proud owner of a rare Delta Pokemon. I can trade it to you if you want, my Delta Scyther for any Steel-type Pokemon. And that's why we have this Magnemite here. So, we trade over Magnemite for a for Scyther. Scyther is a Ice Fighting type with the ability Hustle. And its name is Cleaver. Fantastic. And with that, we're gonna go grab the next thing we need to get for our next Delta Pokemon. So, over here there's Honey. Um, somebody in Suntouch City has a garden that is being terrorized by Pokemon. So what do we do when a when Pokemon is being terrorized like that? Well, it's very simple, you see. We go give him the honey. So that's really it. Um, oh, awesome, cool. So we made it through without interacting with any of those trainers. Very nice. Um, da, 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 I think, here we go, right here. Would you be interested in helping me out with something? Oh, that's wonderful. See, I've been trying to maintain the flower patch on the upper layer of the city, but it's an absolute nightmare. Someone, something keeps getting in and wrecking havoc all over it. Destruction everywhere. I don't know what it is, and I wouldn't be able to stop it if I did. I'm no trainer. You think you'll help me out? 
Oh wow, fantastic. Thank you so much. I'll meet you up in the garden. Alright, so what we need to do here is we fall we go up here to the upper layer. Go down over here, go to left, go down some more. And this flower patch over here, we talk to you. Thank you so much for agreeing to help me out with this. That this little demon is has been coming in every night and destroying my flowers. I've had to replant them every day. It only appears when nobody's watching. Okay, we need to find a way to Lord here. Do you think if we had some honey, we could be maybe enticed to visit? Pokemon like honey, right? I think maybe if we had some honey, we'll be able to find it. Why don't you go have a look? I heard there might be some honey on Route 3. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, wonderful, you found some honey. Let me grab that from you. Okay, let me give it a try. Okay, I swear we should. Wait, there it is! Please, you need to help. Do whatever you can. It's not still dealing from rampaging through my beautiful garden. So, here it is. Here's our potential fourth Pokemon, as long as we catch it. A Delta um, Apom. So, Delta Apom is a ghost normal type. Um, I maybe no, I think we should be good with, with the simple powder snow, actually. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Very nice. Um, so I'm gonna throw a great ball right now to try for the best. So let's see. One, two, three. Nope. Go frozen, which is good. I'm gonna swap right now though, because we are cursed. So two more turns like that, and we would have been done for. Let's try a premier ball real quick then. All right, one, two, three. Yes, awesome. Cool. So now we have our fourth team member in Apom, uh, the Ghost Tail Pokemon, and we're gonna nickname him Bathroom. So the reasoning for that. Is because uh, in Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and in Skyward Sword, there is a really weird hand that kind of comes out of the ground in a toilet and basically asks for toilet paper. So that's why we call it bathroom because look at Apom. It has a nice long, like, like kind of like hand kind of teal thing. But yeah, so I think we're gonna call it an episode here. But in the next episode, we're gonna go explore through Route 3. And keep heading towards uh, Bipic City. And in between episodes, we're going to have all of our team members at level 30. Moving forward. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.